Hey world changers, Miss McCarthy here with your Fast Math freebie of the week. I've created this weekly math video series to help you feel calm and confident when it's time to throw down your best on Florida's Fast Math Assessment. Each week we'll practice a specific question type. Now these videos, they are short, they're sweet, and they are to the point. And at the end of today's video, I will show you where you can access even more video lessons to help you build your confidence when it comes to math. The focus this week is, drum roll. <laughs> Forgot what I was gonna say, let's try that again. The focus this week is, drum roll. <laughs> Matching item, one of my favorites. So let's not waste any more time, let's get to it and let me teach ya. Hey fifth grade, here is your problem this week. So go ahead and pause the video and you know what to do. Solve this one on your own. And then when you are ready, come on back and let's check your work. Fifth grade, welcome back. Let's go ahead and go over this one. So it says to match each scenario. So we've got our scenarios, our word problems on the left with the correct value that's over here. Right away upon first glance, I haven't even looked at these yet, but I see somebody named Solomon in each of these. I'm seeing fractions real quick. I'm just taking a quick look at it um, having to do with miles. So it looks like we have the same person, which can be a little tricky, and similar fractions, right, that we're seeing. Now this one only has three-fourths right there. So just upon first look, I'm like, hmm. Similar fractions, I wonder if there are different operations going on in here. So I need to be really careful about what it is that I'm doing here. Okay, so that was just upon first glance, but we're not gonna keep it as first glance. Oh no, we need to go ahead and take a look at this. So I'm gonna start right there at that first scenario. It says Solomon walked one and a half miles on Wednesday. Okay, so we've got somebody named Solomon. Quick picture, y'all, quick picture, just to make it make sense. And on Wednesday, walked one and a half miles. So on Wednesday, walked one whole and one half of a mile. And one and three fourths on Friday. So here's Friday, we have one whole and then three fourths. One whole mile plus an additional one, two, three-fourths of a mile there. Okay, the question says, how much further did Solomon walk on Friday? Okay, how much further? How much further? Here's Friday right there, and if we're comparing them, it looks like Solomon walked this much further. I can actually see the example right there, right? How much further did he walk? Well, this fraction right here represents one-fourth. Was that one of our answer choices? Yeah, one-fourth of a mile. So it can be this one right here. This is a quick picture which helped us to get there, was a journey that we were showing. Um, but really what is happening here is which operation? Are we adding these fractions or are we comparing them, finding the difference? Are we adding or subtracting? Yeah, we're subtracting here. So we have one and three-fourths on Friday minus one and one-half. Now here, we can see that our denominators, we know that when we add or subtract fractions, our denoms must match. When we add or subtract, our denoms must match. Our denominators must match. Right now we've got four and we have two. Are they matching? No. So we need to find the least common denominator. I call it the LCD. So we'll put four right here and two right there. Those are our two denominators that we have. So now I just count by fours a couple times until I get a match. Four, eight, 12, 16, that's four. Let me stop. For two it would be two, four, six, and eight. And actually I can go ahead and stop because the smallest match that we have is what? Four. So now let's go ahead and rewrite these fractions right here. We've got something minus something, and we know our common denominator now is going to be four. We've got one and something fourths, and from the example, three fourths, we can see that it's just going to stay three fourths. And then we have one and one half, that's going to change to one and how many fourths? Well, 
two times two got us to four. So one times two, same on the bottom, same on the top. One times two is two. So now one and three fourths, let's subtract the fractions first. So three fourths minus two fourths is one fourth. And then one hole minus one hole is zero holes, right? So zero and one fourth or just one fourth of a mile. So that would be how you solve this one. That was a lot of work and our picture actually really helped us out with this one, which is awesome. But it was subtraction. So let's make sure we go back and we have marked our answer for that one, that scenario. Let's take a look at the next scenario. Solomon walked one and one half miles on Wednesday, one and three fourths miles on Friday. How many miles did Solomon walk? So Wednesday he walked some, Friday he walked some. How many miles did he walk all together? It doesn't say all together, but we can see here how many miles did he walk? We're joining them together, which means that we are added, right? We've got Solomon, quick pictures. Wednesday, same amount, one mile and a half. and a half on Friday, one mile and three fourths. One, two, three. So we can see that we have one hole, two holes. Okay, so two holes. And then it looks like this would be half right here. So if we join that half with this half, we would have another hole, right? So plus one more hole, plus we have how much right here as the fraction? One fourth. So if we join all those bits together, that would be three and one fourth miles, okay? Is that an answer choice? It is. If we scan all the way over, it's right over here. But let's go ahead and show mathematically what's happening with that. So we had on Wednesday, he had one and one half plus one and three fourths. When we add or subtract, our denoms must match. Right now we have a denominator of two and four, so they are not matching. We need to make them match, which means we're finding the least common denominator of two and four, which we already did before. Right, we knew that the least common denominator was four. So one whole, and we know to change one half to two fourths, one and three fourths can stay the same. All right, one whole plus one whole is two holes. Two fourths plus three fourths equals how much? Five fourths. Five fourths, two and five fourths which looks funny because five fourths is greater than a whole. So really that would be two holes plus we can take and break that into, break five fourths down into four fourths plus one fourth. And four fourths is the same thing as one whole. So two holes plus one whole would be three holes and one fourth, which would be our answer. Got it two different ways. One with a picture, it happened to work for us and the other way using a calculation there. Now for the last one, it says that Solomon set a goal to, so a goal to walk one and a half miles on Wednesday. So far he has completed three fourths of that distance. How much of the goal has Solomon completed? So here's our guy Solomon again, it is Wednesday and he set a goal to walk one and a half miles. So I'm gonna draw this. Turn this into a half, and I'm gonna use this this time to shape. So the goal is to walk one whole mile and a half mile. So far, he has completed three fourths of the distance. How much of the goal has Solomon completed? If he's completed three fourths of the distance, that means he's completed three fourths of the whole, in a sense, and three fourths of the half a mile. Maybe not really in that order, but essentially mathematically that's what's going on. So what I'm going to do is break this into fourths. Okay, I just broke it into fourths. And he has completed, so I'll show in green, 
he's completed three fourths of that whole mile and then three fourths of the half mile. So again, we'll break this one into fourths and he's completed one, two, three fourths of that. Now notice I went all the way with the green, but really what we're considering there is this piece and this piece where they overlap. Okay, that's what he's completed, three fourths of that one. We're also going to do this mathematically in a second. So if you went straight to math, that's cool too. We'll check it like that. But this, we've been doing the visual and then the mathematics. So, so now when I'm looking at it, I see that he's completed one, two, three, three eighths here, because there's eight total pieces. And then over here, he's completed one, two, three fourths. And we don't have a matching denominator. But if I went ahead and just made that one going down, now that would cut that in half and show that it's now six eighths. So six eighths plus three eighths altogether would be nine eighths or one and one eighth miles. Okay, that's one way visually that you could show what's going on. There's a different way though that you could do it using calculations. So we said that he's gone three fourths of the mile and a half. And I think this is the way my brain would think to do it first. And then I would say, okay, I'm gonna find three fourths of a mile plus three fourths of that half a mile. And this multiplication sign stands for of Okay, three fourths times one is what? Three fourths plus, now we're multiplying here. So three, when we multiply, we can just fly across and multiply. So three times one is three and four times two is eight. We don't have matching denominators, but we know we could multiply the top and the bottom here by two to get six eighths. Six eighths plus three eighths equals nine eighths or one and one eighth miles. But let's make sure that we lock in our answer, which is right here, one and one eighth of a mile. So you can see for this problem, we actually had subtraction and then addition of fractions and multiplication of fractions. So it's really important to understand. One of the ways that I look at it for multiplication is looking for that word of, because we're finding a fraction of something, which shows multiplication. Make sure that you, uh, you can always go back and rewind if you need to. And then when you're ready, let's close out this video lesson. Now here's a message for the grownups in your life. If you are a teacher, parent, or educational leader looking to support your students with more practice in a safe environment, follow me over to McCarthyMathAcademy.com for tons of math videos specifically geared towards Florida's best standards. Just know that I would love the opportunity to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for your students. So make sure that you check out the link somewhere around this video. Before we go, let me remind you that practice is not something we do once we're good it's the one thing we do that makes us good if you want to get better stronger or more confident with something you've got to put in the practice and you've got to make sure that you are throwing down your very best effort i believe in you and i will see you next time world changers bye